Hey everybody, and welcome to Homestead BS! Today we're making supper. We wanted to bring y'all around along with us. And today we're making, what are we making? Ramen, my favorite. Oh my, no, the, I think it's my favorite. No, mine. So, it's a like favorite it so around much. this house. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> now I know what you're thinking. It's not your normal ramen, okay? Where it's the little packs you get from um, the grocery store for what, 50 cents or something like that? 25 cents? Yeah, that's yeah. what it is, okay. And loaded with sodium. Well, we're trying to cut sodium out of our diets and eat a little healthier. Um, so we start with that pack, but Charles has a knack for doctoring this thing up. Okay, so it's a happy medium between your store-bought... Yep. Sodium filled. I think that's noodles. all that's in Yeah, it's noodles just sodium. and salt. <laughs> <laughs> and the fancy ramen that you find at a restaurant with that broth that's been cooking for hours and hours. So um, Charles has found a knack for melding the right flavors together, and it is amazing. So sit back, enjoy, and hopefully get some good out of it. All right, y'all, so what we got going on here so far is we have our wok that is heating up, and we just have it on a medium heat. Yep. Um, nothing too fancy, and then we have some water back here. That'll be for the noodles. And Phoebe, here, if you want to, you think you can open these packets of noodles? So what you got to do is pop them open, and we do five packets open of the noodles like this time. Chips. Open them just like chips. And then what you do is take out this little packet. This little packet goes in the trash. The rest of it goes right there. Got that? Yeah. All right. So we're going to do a bit of coconut oil. So the seasonings in this, I don't measure anything, as you'll you'll see. Um, so the seasoning on this, I use very similar seasonings each time. However, it never tastes the same twice. Um, I will mix and match seasonings as I feel like it that day. Um, sometimes we have a uh, five spice blend, and we'll use that. Um, I did not get the best feedback from the family members on that one. So I don't use that one too often. We have about two pork chops. What we do is when we are having pork chops for dinner, we'll save one or two pork chops, throw in a Ziploc bag, and uh, we'll cut it up, throw it in a Ziploc bag. This way it is all ready for when we do the ramen. So then we have two chicken breasts. And again, same thing. We had chicken with tacos the other day. And uh, we just kind of mm. save the, the couple extra pieces of chicken there. Because one pack of chicken, you know, you take one chicken breast out of a pack, is not okay. not the end of the world. You can still open it, everything will be good. All right, so we're just going to wait for the water to come to a boil for that. So what we're going to do now is just kind of get the meat cooked. Again, this is pork and, and uh, chicken, so you want to make sure to get it good and well cooked. And then we have, oh, we need more sauce. Can you grab another bottle of sauce out of the cabinet, please? Thank you. And because it is an Asian-based cuisine, soy sauce seems to be the uh, primary thing. That, and we really like it. We do use the reduced sodium, because like we said in the other part, we are trying to uh, cut down the sodium. There is, there's going to be some in it. What's that? Sometimes coconut aminos. Yep, sometimes the coconut aminos do work in place. Um, not so much on the ramen, though. No. So let's see, we're going to add just a little bit of cumin. Yeah. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'll let you tighten them back up, and then when you're done, you can put them on the island. How's that? Mm -hmm. A little bit of sesame oil. The sesame oil definitely changes the flavor a bit. There you go, there's the next one. <laughs> Just a hint of ginger. Yeah. At least that's the plan. And again, sometimes it, it never it never does come out the same twice, so there's no real wrong way. Yes. This is a little bit of onion powder. We don't put onions in ours because certain members of the household are not big fans. Yeah, like me. I know. So we use a bit of onion powder in its place. And it's just, again, the reduced sodium soy sauce. I 
close that one. Could you give me a spoon, Mark? Yes, Dad. Thank you. A little bit of smoked paprika. Here's a spoon. All right. The regular one. Perfect. We're going to use that for the garlic. Minced garlic. Yes. We really like garlic. I can smell that very good. Yeah? What does it smell like? Just a bit of Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worc the W sauce. I don't know if I've ever heard two people pronounce that the same way. A fish little bit sauce? of fish sauce. Fish sauce? Fish sauce. And the reason I usually use the fish sauce, I only use that on days that we're going to add seafood to it. Today's ramen is actually going to have um, shrimp in it as well. But the shrimp doesn't take anywhere near as long to cook as the, oh, and this is roasted garlic here, as the other stuff. So yeah, like I said, we, we really like our garlic. Yes, we do. And then a bit of sriracha. sriracha. Now, you can do a lot of sriracha and well, make it quite really spicy. Sometimes we do. When, when you're not here, we'll do it. When it's just me and Ashley eating the ramen, yeah. we'll make it spicy. And this is hoisin sauce. I'm not exactly sure what hoisin sauce is, but it does give a unique twist on the flavor. Ashley, what exactly is hoisin sauce? I don't know. Let me read the label. Take that over to Ashley. <laughs> I think most people use it in stir fry or whatever. Nope, yep, we're good. Now what we're going to do is cook this up, and then once the pork and chicken is cooked, we will be right back with you. It looks delicious. Smells delicious. Mm -hmm. Alright, now that our pork and chicken is pretty that's much tough. done, it's probably not cooked all the way, but that's okay. We just needed to get started. Yep. So the next thing we're going to add is, is some broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. So we get the bags of the medley, um, a bag of the medley, and we'll use it for stir fries, we'll use it for the ramen, um, we'll throw some of it on salads, but this way the bag will last us a long way, it gives us the biggest bang for our buck. Um, we also cheat and get the pre-made coleslaw mix to add in the cabbage and whatnot, and we're going to put the lid on there so they can steam in there a little bit, get that all cooked up, and then... Uh, Is that too much? Nope, you're good. You can't add too much of the coleslaw stuff because of the fact that it cooks down to almost nothing. Um, so yeah, so like I said, we put the lid on there just so it can steam up some. There's Brindley. Oh. <laughs> Apparently she didn't realize she was on camera, but she was. <laughs> She's probably wearing clothes under the hoodie. Don't mind that. I am. But... So the water is just about to a boil. Once that comes to a boil, we'll bring you back. Oh, well. All right, y'all, we're back. So our water's coming to a boil. Our our vegetables are uh, just tender. They're not fully delicious. cooked by any means. It smells fantastic. Yeah. So now it is time to add shrimp. Shrimp. Two of my favorite. One of my favorite things. I know. This, this dish is full of your favorite things, isn't it? Yep. Shrimp, chicken, it, pork. It only has my favorite things. Yeah. And we're, we're feeding, what, six tonight? Seven tonight? Something like that. Um, so we're using five packets of noodles. I'm running to like six. Five or six. And you know what? None of us mind leftovers in the ramen. Nope. Because we can just save it for the next day. Yeah. Or use it for another time. It's tomorrow's lunch. Mm -hmm. Well, we probably won't have any leftovers with five packets. Yeah. Not if everybody eats some. All right, so we got them going. We got this going. 
delicious. Right? All right, now that we've got the shrimp in there, we're going to add a bit more seasonings. Okay. So we're going to toss in a bit more soy sauce. Can I place that up on the Yes. And then a bit more of all the, the, the same seasonings that we put in there before. So roasted garlic. It is mostly just the dry seasonings that we put in there before. It is, uh, so I won't be adding like the uh, the minced garlic again. A bit more ginger. And our, our wok is cast iron. We have done this in the pan before too. Um, the wok is just it's the biggest pan we own. So it makes life a lot easier because you'll, you'll see when we add in the coleslaw mix, which the coleslaw mix, by the way, a little tribute, tidbit here, the coleslaw mix makes great egg rolls. Mm, yum! A little, little bit more cumin. And then I think that is about it for the extra seasonings. Yep. If I wanted it to be pretty spicy, this is when I'd add more sriracha. But we're not going to do that. We're tonight. not doing spicy, don't worry. Alright. So we're going to lid this back up and let it steam everything together here for a few minutes. And then once the shrimp is just about done, that's when I'll add in the coleslaw mix. We'll be right back with you. We'll be right back. Alright y'all, welcome back. So we got our noodles just about done. Yep. They're coming out nicely. I mean, they're just... Like I said, did you see? They're the regular, you know, I think they're 25 cents, 30 cents. What's in there a package. looks delicious. Our shrimp is just about fully cooked. It is not completely cooked yet. Um, but this is when we add in the rest of our veggies. So we are going to add in uh, roughly that much. That's a lot. That's about a half a bag of pre mixed coleslaw mix. Okay, I just got to say something. So one thing about this coleslaw mix, I've never in my life, and I'm 40 plus years old, <laughs> used this for anything other than coleslaw. But this stuff right here, for making egg rolls, mix it with some ground pork, mm -hmm. wrap it in some egg rolls and fry it, or air fried, um, or in, what, what else do we do? Egg roll in a bowl. Egg roll in a bowl. Yeah. We can do um, that one day. Yeah. This is phenomenal, guys. It's a game changer. I'm closing the lid have to, to cut it all steam up it. So it can steam. But anyway, you can use that quickly in a soup or stir fry or whatever. Yep. Sorry. Okay. Nope, you're good. Ran over. <laughs> you're good. <laughs> so our noodles are, let's see, our noodles are done. <laughs> Come on. They can't see me. It's okay. Did you just do dad tax? <laughs> yes, that was the dad tax. One noodle. But, so our noodles are done, so now we're going to get them drained. Watch out, Ma. Okay. So I know, according to the packages of them 20 cent soups, you would leave that water, you would add in all them packets of sodium at this point, mix together, and then call it soup. I'm not sure why. No. Um, I, I, that, that was never my thing. Um, I love ramen noodles. I, I, I love the noodles. However, those little packets of salt, not my, not my uh, go-to by any means. And when you go and try to buy them in the Asian section, it's ten times more expensive. Oh yeah, that's that's what it was. That's why we we, we were using these because we did look. They do sell noodles, ramen noodles, in the grocery store, in your Asian section. They look very similar to the packets. I'm sure there's something different. Um, that I don't I don't know about. That's just not within my realm of expertise. But they were what six dollars for a packet of the noodles. Yeah, the price is way way higher. It was crazy. Whereas this for twenty cents, I get it, and I get a salt packet if I should use the salt packet. Um, and I've, I've in, in the navy, there was actually a lot of people that would eat the packets of ramen noodles dry. Mm -hmm. They would take the packet, crush it up a little bit. Add in that salt packet, shake it up, and then eat them like chips. Mm -hmm. That's weird. It is weird, but that's what a lot of people did. I've done it myself a couple times. Me, it was usually because I forgot other things to do. I always kept one in my 
work bag. This way, if I forgot lunch or something like that, boom, I had a lunch of some sort. Some food is better than no food. All right, y'all, so we did a bit of stirring, but that's about it. Other than that, we have not changed anything. We just had that cabbage in there and the, the coleslaw mix in there just steaming. The little lid works perfectly for that. Yep. It weirded me out the first couple of times I used a wooden lid, but I figured, you know what? It wouldn't have came with it if it wasn't meant it to, to use like that. But yeah, as you can see, our coleslaw has cooked down quite a bit. But I'm not going to cook it all the way down the mush because, well, I want the coleslaw in there. I want the cabbage and all that stuff in there. So this is where we are going to call it. So I'm just turning it all the way down the low now. And now what I'm going to do is them packets of noodles that we made. <laughs> made the bowl shake. Yep. Uh. This is usually the hardest part. Getting everything mixed together. With the ramen. Yep. Here's because the then noodles do make, it's, it's like a jello mold. Here's the ramen like sticks together and it doesn't want to come apart. And That's okay. Because you know what? You guys all eat it with forks instead of chopsticks anyway. So I don't mind breaking it up. I'm the only one who uses chopsticks. So now we're going to turn it all the way off. That cast iron will continue to stay hot for... If you ever use cast iron, you know like an cast hour. iron stays hot for quite a long I don't know if it's quite an hour, but like half of that. It'll it'll be a long time. And there you go. You got your ramen. Mm -hmm. Now it is not all watery and soupy like your traditional like your other ramens. Um, nope. You can do it that way, by all means. I am not dissing, I like it that way. If I go to one of them fancy ramen, the noodle restaurants, I'm in, you know, I, I, like it I enjoy it. What's that? I like it both ways. Yeah, me too. But as far as quick and easy, it you can't, you can't beat it. If you don't like it, that's okay, just be you. Yep, just be you. Change it up. You can, as you've seen, I don't measure anything. I just throw spices in there. Nope. You can go as crazy with this as you want. You can put all of all of the pork, all of the yeah, you don't have to use all three kinds of meats. You don't have to use most of the spices. Nope. Um, I would recommend sticking with some soy sauce or something along them lines to give it the uh, flavor. Yep. But other than that, I think that's about it. I think it's dinner time. What do you think? Yeah. Y'all hungry? Absolutely. All right. Well, be Go sure to like subscribe and leave a comment below absolutely especially if you've tried it or something similar uh let us know what your favorite recipes are yep we'll try them out link it down in the comment good job Mike. i didn't even think to tell them to link it <laughs>